Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints. I'm back with our um, junk journal, our grandma's attic junk journal that we've been working on. And uh, in the last segment, we created uh, the outside cover. And today we're going to work on the inside cover. And um, again, I still have my sore throat from yesterday, so I'm chewing gum and I might talk a little scratchy today, so sorry for that. But, um, so when uh, this dried, I don't know if you can see, it became kind of uh, bent and curvy, and I decided um, I might want some reinforcement since it's kind of soft right now and um, bendy. So um, what I did was I took some cardboard pieces and cut them to fit, and I'm going to just glue these on here to kind of reinforce the cover so it's a little bit sturdier. So. Um, I, I went ahead and cut these to size already, so basically these are just some chipboard um, pre-cut pieces that I got from Amazon, but you can use any kind of cardboard for this, or you don't even have to do this part if you don't want to. I just, I wanted my cover to be a little bit sturdier. So um, I cut these to size. There was a little bit of trial and error just getting around the curves, and I wanted it to have a little bit of a border so that when it's glued down, you can still see some of the, the original cover behind it around the edges. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these with some of the papers from my uh, grandma's attic printable kit. Um, so as you can see, I already glued this part down. And so I decided I'm going to try to cut around that with my cardboard piece. So um, I was trying to figure out how I could make it kind of accurate. And what I decided was this piece is about the same size. So I'm going to try to um, like put this where it, it would be and slide this under here. You're thinking, she doesn't have a plan at all, does she? And you're right, I <laughs> don't. <laughs> I've never done a cover like this one before, so I'm just kind of winging it. So you and I get to learn together. Oops. So that's about where this piece should be. And I'm going to cut just a little bit to the like inside here. So it's a little bit more cut out than, than what I traced. And that hopefully will leave another border. Let's, let's give it a whirl. Like I said, junk journals aren't about being perfect. You can make mistakes and it's okay. It can just be part of your design. So that's not too bad. Maybe a little bit more on this side. And this is basically the same process I did for cutting these pieces out in general. I just started kind of cutting along until it, it looked about right. So I think I like that. I think I'm going to round these corners off just a little bit. Okay. And then... Um, I'm going to be covering these with paper and I think I'll just try to make it the exact right size. So what I'm going to do is just trace these on here. That's my grand plan. See how it works. So again, this is just one of the papers from my printable kit, the grandma's attic it um, and I printed it on cardstock so that it's a little bit more firm not quite as flimsy as paper so you can't see this but I'm actually sitting next to a window that overlooks a lake lucky me I know um, but every once in a while little critters crawl by my window and yesterday I had, I think it was a groundhog, <laughs> and it was a pretty big guy, and he was crawling past the window while I was crafting, so never a dull day here in my craft space. And we've had lots of animals out here, just because there's a wooded area next to us too. And I know, I'm really lucky <laughs> to live in this place. We found this house on Zillow a couple of years ago and um, it wasn't quite what we were looking for, but I was like, you know, it's, it's worth the sacrifice to live next to the lake and the woods and stuff. So, 
so I'm glad that we get to be here. Um, okay, so that's looking like it'll work, I think. And what I'm going to do is glue this onto here and ink the edges, and then I'll do this other piece as well. I might just do the other piece now so I can do all my gluing at the same time. And again, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. You can just, you know, have your cover be a little less sturdy. It's not a huge deal. It just depends on what, what you want for your journal. So part of my inspiration for this journal was my great grandma Rose. I talked about her a little bit in the last segment and she was a really neat lady. She grew up through the depression and she raised, I think six kids on her own. Uh, her husband, I think left her when she was quite a bit younger. And um, yeah, she was just a really neat gal. She made everything homemade. She made quilts, she made homemade rolls and noodles and her house was just like a haven for us grandkids. We could always find some kind of treat there. And so anyway, this is kind of a special journal to me because it helps me kind of just focus on those memories of my great grandma. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. Oh, you know what? I need my uh, brush. I left it in the other room after I cleaned it yesterday. Okay. And I keep my glue, I've said this on other videos, but I keep it in a cup so it's just upside down ready to go so I don't have to wait for it to come to the end. It's a simple trick, but maybe something handy for you if you haven't thought about it before. Okay. And this is my bone folder I've mentioned before. It's not actually bone, it's plastic, but it helps to smooth out wrinkles and helps with folding papers too. Okay, one down. I'll get this one glued on and be good to go. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink those edges too. Okay, and then I'm going to glue these in here and they may have a little bit of trouble sticking because this is so bowed, it's just like popping up. We'll see. And I don't think I'll need to smooth this glue out as much because um, it's got a pretty hard surface. It's not paper, so the wrinkles shouldn't show through. But I'm going to smooth it out just a little to get it to the edges. So I'm leaving just a little border all the way around. And, whoops, kind of. And I'm just gonna glue this on. And I'm gonna put, I think, a little weight on this to help it while it's drying. My glue cup here. Ooh. 
is trying to bow up. So I may leave some weight on that while it dries for a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll add this centerpiece. Okay, so I think these are stuck down now. And to finish off the inside cover, um, I took a piece of paper from the printable kit and I cut it out to size. And then I um, cut the edges with uh, this edge punch. I'll put links to some of the things I use down below. And I'm gonna use this to cover up my spine and to give it kind of just a pretty decorative edge on the inside cover. There we go. And that's our inside cover. Um, we might add some things later to it, but I think for now we'll stop here and let things dry. And then in the next segment, I'll talk about adding uh, pages and other things. All right, thanks for watching.